This is a story of a dumpster dresser makeover. Be sure to stay till the end because things don't always turn out the way you planned. Here's the before, crusted on layers of dirt. I began cleaning by spraying the entire thing with a mixture of Humble Sud All Natural Cleaner and water and wiped off all of the dirt. This is essential to get the paint to stick well. Okay, you know this is really gross when you find a hornet's nest. Ew, inside of the drawer. Yeah, this thing has been outside and then apparently it's been the home to many different critters. Hopefully I don't have any live ones right now. It didn't look like it when I loaded it up and first like dusted it off. But man, this thing needs a thorough cleaning. It's gonna get the makeover of a lifetime. I used a high powered vacuum to get all the cobwebs and dead Bug. I removed the hardware and always place the hardware and screws in a plastic bag so you don't lose them. I don't particularly like where the knobs are on here, the holes for it. I'm going to do something very different with and transfer. So I want to fill these holes in and then I can decide where I want to put a pole or what kind of pole. So first thing you want to do is you want to tape the back of it with painter's tape. You don't have to use the frog tape. This is what I have on hand. I love this for everything. I just prefer dry deck, just a spackling putty. You can use JB Well or some compound like that, but I find this works great. You might have to do it a couple times just to get it flush with it. It's cheap, easy. I'm just using a plastic stick to fill those holes. You can use a trowel, you can use your finger, whatever is easiest. Just make sure they are filled. I use DIY paint and tarnished pearl. DIY paint is an all natural clay base. It will stick to any surface, so no priming or sanding is usually necessary. Just make sure your piece is clean. Now that the holes are filled, I sanded it smooth and time to paint. I am using my mister to get the paint to go evenly. I do long strokes on each drawer. Okay, I've got two coats on here. It's time to sand it smooth. I like to take a piece of 320 grit sandpaper. I tear it in half and then I fold it in thirds. This way I can use this side, this side, open it up and use that side. And it works as a great little tool. The higher the grit of sandpaper, the smoother the finish. I like to start at the top, work my way down. So let's get started. DIY paint will come off in a fine dust and the result will be a smooth, beautiful finish. I like to pay special attention to the top. I make it extra smooth. This is where your furniture will get touched and the higher quality pieces will always have a super smooth finish. It is wickedly hot today. So what better way to honor that heat than to make some really cool Southwest furniture. I am now ready to put the transfers on. When you are ready for this step, you wanna make sure that the surface is really dry and cure the paints hard and dry very smooth, free of dust. If you put a finish on, let it dry 24 hours before you do this. Do not use a wax finish before you put the transfer on. The oil base will prevent this transfer from sticking. Personally, I like to do it just over very dry and hard paint. I typically have great results. I am going to tape these in place. This is the IOD Desperado transfer. And then I will be able to kind of see what I want it to look like and move things around. IOD transfers come with gridded lines so you can easily line it up to make it straight. Remove the backing when you are ready. Starting at one end, work your way across with the burnishing stick. Gently pull up the plastic to see how you're doing and you will be done. I added a buffalo to the side, repeating the process of taping in place and working from one end to the other. When you're finished with the transfer, run your fingers over it to make sure it's adhered. Because all of the IOD transfers come with so many beautiful options, I wanted to take advantage of all of the pieces that I could I added trim, I added pieces to the top, and when I show the front, I even added some cactus. Measure the height and width of the drawers and make an X where you want those knobs to go. It is important that you measure twice and make sure all of your marks are perfectly lined up. You definitely don't want to mess this part up. All right, it's finally time we get to put the top coat on. I am using Big Top Brush On Top Coat. It is very low sheen. I like to use Big Top on dressers and tables and things that will get a lot of wear and tear. My first choice is usually clear wax, but if this is going in a kid's room or somewhere where it might get bumped up a lot and you need to wipe it down, this is gonna be your easiest go-to. I sell more Big Top than anything. What I'm going to do 
is put some clear wax over the big tub on the top of this dresser, which will in fact make it totally waterproof. You can go and watch some videos I have of my charcuterie video. I'll put a link in that and you can see how that looks where I spilled a Diet Pepsi on it. So I am just putting this on with a regular brush and let's get started. Big top is very thin and one container will do several pieces of furniture. I like to go in to end, slightly overlapping as I go. Because it's very low sheen, you will not see highs and lows. It is really easy to use and one of my favorite go-to finishes. The big top is dry and I am ready to put my knobs on and take some glamour shots. Here's where things went wrong. When I got to Antique Co-op, I had put the drawers in the back of my car. I've been painting furniture for 20 years. You would think I would know not to put stuff loaded in right at the back of the hatchback. So when I opened it, guess what happened? Two of the drawers came tumbling out and one broke. I don't even know if I have the strength to make it at this point. Please share your ideas in the comments of how to repurpose these drawers. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. You can find more at my blog at redointeriors.com and all the products I use are linked below.